So the emphasis in today's training is about how to handle awkward and difficult situations with employees. We have a lot of young whippersnappers coming out of high school and college who think they have the right to be on their cell phone all day in order to please themselves. The problem is that's not what we're paying them to do. We want cell phones to be turned off and in pockets during their shifts. We want them to be fully engaged in doing the work that we're paying them to do. We also don't want them to have the temptation of feeling like they should be sitting on our network or pretending that they are some sort of a network security agent for our corporations. Our people are too busy with other things to even be doing that. We don't have a problem with people. We usually have a problem with an employee that creates a problem for external people, meaning potential guests in our store, potential shoppers in our store, and actual clients of our store. Just because someone doesn't buy today doesn't mean that they're not a customer or consumer of our shop. We have to be very cognizant of the fact there's a lot of window shoppers out there, but we also need to be very cognizant of that the window shoppers sometimes pay attention to how we think and what we do and how we behave. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't real, and what isn't real is what when an employee thinks they have job responsibilities that are not what are real. An employee's job responsibilities in most retail establishments is straightforward. It's to stock the shelves with products to be bought, provide excellent customer service so that people can make their shopping purchases, and open a, a tour guide through our store to help them find the things that they need by one of two ways. By offering, would you like me to show you where it is, or may I just tell you where it is? That gives the customer the consumer the right to decide whether or not they want you along for the ride. They could see something else along the way that they're walking to the bay in which you told them to go, and they might pick something else up along the way to shop. But if you're guiding them through the store to be convenient because they're in a, in a quick amount of time, a lot of people will say, hey, would you mind taking me there because I don't have a lot of time. And that allows you to know the difference. But you should always be giving customers, always be giving consumers the opportunity to say yes or no to your guidance. You see, what your job is to know what aisle the things are on in general, so that if you don't know every single product that we carry right this second, you can at least direct them to the general areas in which they might find it. At the same time, by giving them a chance to say, would they like them to be along for the ride, it means that you can help them to find several options of what they're looking for so they can decide. And sometimes people will buy multiple things once they get there. You see, there's advantages and disadvantages to both options, but the best thing you can do in customer service is to give the customer the choice there.